Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So you can see today I'm going to be talking about the Triple E framework. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the Triple E framework, and it is a technology integration framework that I think focuses on very important elements of engagement, enhancement, and extension. So if I just move myself over so that you can see the website, and I'll put a link to the website in the comment section below, but this was developed by the wonderful Dr. Liz Kolb um, in 2011. So it's been around for a long time, but I would say that it's not really universally adopted as much, even though ISTE as an organization has um, helped and supported uh, Dr. Kolb's work. So I wanted to really try and highlight her work and this framework because I really think that this is focusing on the importance of technology integration, which is not about the technological tool, it's not about the ed tech tool, but it's about enhancing learning. And she's actually released a book. So if I just navigate to the homepage, you'll be able to see it's Learning First, Technology Second, beautiful title to her book. She's just released it and re-released it actually in 2020. So I highly recommend it. And the whole website has so many resources. So there are little videos that she's created to explain the development, where it came from, why. I think it's important that we understand why Triple E uh, as opposed to adopting other frameworks when we're trying to look at technology integration. And she's also put um, some templates here for rubrics and tools that you can see to evaluate lesson design, educational apps, and also here um, some printable rubrics as well. And also case studies. I think it's really useful for educators to look at different case studies of schools that have actually used this Triple E framework. Now, I was recently talking to um, a lovely educator who I've known for many years and we're in a collaborative partnership. And he said he loves this framework and he has also suggested to include another E in this Triple E framework. His suggestion is to add ethical. And I think ethical is such an important element when we look at technology integration. And it's something that's not always on the forefront of our minds when we think about ed tech integration. But to look at digital citizenship, to look at ethical implications and to teach our students about the ethical implications of different ed tech tools, I think is a very necessary and much needed aspect of technology integration. So um, I highly recommend this Triple E framework. Thank you, Dr. Liz Kolb, for pioneering and developing this framework. Uh, I think that it would be so useful to add in the ethical element. I can't take credit for that suggestion, um, but thank you, Ian, for that suggestion. And if you have actually used this framework for your technology integration with your students, please share. We would love to hear how you've used this framework. And thank you so much for joining me again this week. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.